Hello Foundry. It's hard to believe it's already Friday and we've made it through our first week of this different world. Um, I'm glad we can come together and spend time in God's Word because He is our source of comfort and direction in this and in all times. Our devotions today come out of Revelation 3.20 and Isaiah 55. I'll start with the Isaiah passage. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good and your soul will delight on the richest affair. Give ear and come to me. Hear me that your soul may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you know not, and nations that do not know you will hasten to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendor. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his evil thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord, for he will have mercy on him, and our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And then Revelation 3, verse 20. Again, this is to the church in Laodicea. Jesus says, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. As I studied this passage of Revelation, I was reminded of something that went on in our family. Every year for Christmas, I buy my oldest son a book from the Peanuts collection, the Charlie Brown and Snoopy books. And I always thought this was gonna be a great gift because Josh loved those and I could get him a new one every year. The collection spans about 40 years and they're in two-year increments, and I thought, oh, this will always be something special. We can give them on Christmas and just kind of build it up. And then a few years ago, I realized I couldn't find them anymore at Barnes & Noble and the other bookstore I went to. So I started to look on Amazon and eBay, and then after a while, that was getting even harder. And so last year, as I'm looking for this book, I'm not finding it. It's getting closer to Christmas. I'm worried about it shipping on time. So I'd get home from work, take care of the kids, you know, get finished with everything, whatever work we had to do at home, and then I'd spend the rest of my time desperately searching for books for the collection that he didn't have yet. Um, I spent more time on this than I would like to admit. In a busy season like Christmas, I wasted a lot of time on my computer in this desperate and useless search. And then I remembered. I had worried about this the year before because I had realized it was really hard to find, so I had bought books ahead. And sure enough, on the shelf in our closet, I had the extra books. So this is kind of what was happening in Laodicea. They were looking everywhere for what they thought would make them feel approved and loved and purposeful. And as a result of their constantly looking everywhere and looking inward, they were becoming prideful, weary, useless, and nauseating. Everything they needed was knocking at their door. Jesus was waiting for them to let him in not as a religious token to add to the shelves of their life to keep in their back pocket, but as their everything. On the back of this devotion is a prayer that I'd like you to do when we're done. Just take some time and ask God to show you the areas where you've looked to anything but him to fulfill you. And then invite Jesus to be the everything in your life. Ask him to show you what that means, what that kind of trust and devotion would mean in your life. Thank you so much for meeting and doing these devotions, and we will see you again very soon.